James Westmoreland, World Endurance Rider for Honda Viltes Racing. I'm really excited to see my uh, see my 2023 RST suit. Um, it's the most exciting time of the season. A lot of work goes in the winter to get the designs ready. Also, this year is really special because my team, Viltes Racing, is changing manufacturer. Before we've been blue and this year we'll be riding Hondas and obviously I've seen the design of the suit and the official colours and I'm really really excited to see it in the flesh you know it's for one it's a big privilege to wear RST and it's an even bigger privilege to to be in these colours these Honda colours so um, yeah I'm, I'm super excited it's uh, a really big moment and I'm looking forward to seeing it and also wearing it and uh, the 2023 season also. The design process was, was pretty easy. We had some strict guidelines because Honda France have a stipulation as what this what the suit needed to look like. And Chloe uh, RST did a fantastic job of, of sticking to that. RST always do a fantastic job. Um, obviously I've been part of the design process. I've seen the, the proofs of it, but I haven't seen it in, in the flesh. In the design it looked amazing and I'm sure in real life it will look even better. So yeah, my 2023 suit, here we go. Oh wow, awesome. Exactly what I expected and uh, yeah, it looks fantastic. My initial thoughts on, on the suit is exactly as I imagined it. Yeah, it's beautiful, the colors are amazing. And like I say, it's a, it's a massive privilege for me to, to wear these colors. Um, I think RST have done a, have a great job of my suit is, you know, it has a factory look and uh, that was that was the aim of the suit. So yeah, really, really happy and uh, a big thank you to everyone. Between RST, my team, Honda, the team sponsors, everybody has done a great job and uh, it's the nicest suit I've ever worn and uh, it's definitely one I will keep for my collection. Obviously we had a strict, strict guidelines to stick to, being uh, officially supported by Honda and yeah, it's exactly as I wanted and uh, I'm super happy, you know, we've got the number of the team and uh, it's exactly what we wanted, so I'm really happy. 2022 season started really difficult because we broke the engine in Le Mans and uh, from that moment the season becomes quite difficult, you know, when you only have four races and then the Bol d'Or, the final race of the year, the biggest of the season and uh, we, had a, we had a dream, you know, we managed to win the race against the, fact, uh, the factory teams. We won the 100th Bol d'Or, which is really really special in the end we finished third in the championship so uh, for our team was amazing and we believe this year we can keep progressing and uh, honestly we think we can do something more so from this we're really excited and uh, we can't wait to get back on track so the first time i will wear my suit is in the official uh, le mans test in two weeks time um, is where all the teams come together for the first official test we get to see a little bit where we stack up um, is really exciting because, like I say, it's a new project. We have a new bike, so we really start to understand. But at, at the end of the day, it's not the end of the world because in endurance, it's, the race is 24 hours long. So 99% of the time is not the fastest team that wins a race. You know, you need so much luck and so many things to happen in 24 hours to, to get to the end. So, uh, and then two weeks after, we have the we have the race. So, um, yeah, really excited to get on track and. Uh, We've done a little bit of testing and uh, yeah, I can't wait. Thank you for watching. This has been RST Reveals. Like and subscribe here.